You can relax. I'm not going to ask you any questions because I know to a degree you can't answer them and to a degree you won't answer them. My name is Skip Husking. I, uh, I live at 65 Andover Terrace and I will try to keep this to right to the two minutes. Yogi Berra said it best, deja vu all over again. Several years ago, Glen Rock was involved in a costly legal suit, legal battle involving a sexual harassment charge in the police department. It was not only handled extremely unprofessionally, it cost the taxpayer, taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars. When I expressed this concern in the Gazette and I came down here and talked about it, I was told, you don't know the facts, we can't tell you the facts, and you're wrong about the money. How do I know I was right? Two reasons. Number one, re with regard to knowing the facts, I went to Hackensack and sat down and listened at the court case. I physically attended it. I was appalled when the judge stated that this case should have never come to trial. It was a waste of time. It should have been resolved at a much lower level. Despite losing, the town appealed the case and for all practical purposes, lost again, spending even more tax dollars. With regard to the real costs, I filed the Oprah Freedom of Information Act, and I actually received many of the bills, not all of them, and I found it was way farther than what I had estimated and was told that I was way out of line. This lesson clearly taught me that what I read in the press or I hear at the open meetings is often very, very, very far from the truth. I don't know the specific details in these cases, but I have this fear Glenrock is doing the exact same thing it did last time, stumbling through costly litigation. We should have reasonable transparency. Last Sunday's Bergen record, the headline stated, Palisades cop accused of theft. In the article, the chief was quoted as saying, you are entitled to the charge, you are not entitled to the confidential information. And I agree with that. For almost two decades, I have lived in Glenrock. I have been a strong supporter of our police department. In all my contacts from the officers on the streets up to and including Captain Miller and Chief Stamen, they have always acted professionally and courteously. That includes the offers, the officers rumored to be on the firing block. I have de deep respect for the, for, for the police force and I will continually support them in keeping us safe. Please handle this fairly, professionally, and with reasonable transparency. That's why we voted you in.